was pretty good. But anyway, so we're back. This is the last, last episode. So it's very exciting. Happy and so, I should have gotten, I was saying this earlier, I should have gotten like champagne or party poppers or something to celebrate. But now that we are done with that. So when we left off, Nixon had found some info on her father's rivals. Kaz was on the verge of the scoop of his career, and Rip was just trying to keep his head above water. So, <laughs> all right. That's Rip. That's Sounds Rip. Right. That's what Rip does. I saw your last message about Rip somehow, somewhere feels the urge to drink. <laughs> so. I think that was, though, he was, he was, uh, <laughs> somehow getting some psychic vibes from Nixon and Kaz's <laughs> conversation. Oh, God. <laughs> well, I didn't know this was like, this can get superpowers. It's just gonna, like, that's the twist. Uh, cybernetic superpowers. It's the future, baby. Anything hey, can happen. Man, technology. It's gone crazy. All right, but now it is morning. Rip has the DA's word that he can protect Mike if he finds good info. And Nixon also found out that Mr. Moon was funding a group of Colombian gangsters. Mm -hmm. So it's morning, you are all in your respective homes, places. Yep. So you have that bit of information. What do you want to do with it? Hmm. I send out a group text. Okay. And mean? basically, it's very abrupt and blunt. It's not like flowery or anything. It's just like, um, how does she phrase it? Um, <laughs> um, found info, gangsters, dad wasn't lying. Okay. Well, that's cryptic. I assume you yeah. want to meet up. <laughs> and I wait for Rip's response as well, because that was a group text. <laughs> uh, Rip responds with, okay. Okay. <laughs> where Where do you want to meet, that response. though? Um, yeah, I'll actually respond. Where do you want to meet? Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a nice, nice little diner near uh, near me. If you want to do that, the place where we met last time, I I respond back. I mean, and sure. With a frowny face. With a frowny face. <laughs> Remembering the last time. <laughs> well, and like a and calm, a thrust calm, face. Blah. Calm down. I was only joking. Jeez. I don't know. Let's have, I don't know. Rip, do you have a, a place in mind? Mm, mm. I would have said the diner too. Well, uh, let's see. Hmm. You also. Well, it's not There's also for... Mike's shop, just the city. Well, we can't yes. eat at Mike's shop. Well, they, he doesn't have food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I roll my eyes in the text. I like send an emoji with our rolly eye text. <laughs> And I say, come to my place. I'll I'll buzz you in. Oh, I was actually gonna offer my my, my place, but your place is way way nice. Or so yeah, let's do that. All right. Rip responds with thumbs up emoji. <laughs> <laughs> the emojis are still in. How how do texts work? How do texts work? All right. So we can just say you folks are all together <clears throat> at Nixon's place. Yeah. All right. And I have out like assorted fruits. Um, I have some food for you guys, basically some Aww. strong coffee. You know, I'm wow. a hostess. Mm -hmm. Very kind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Here. So, I know that was kind of weird, the text I sent, but I didn't really know how to explain it. I was still processing. So, here's what I know. 
and I basically explain what I found. Hmm. So, gangsters, eh? Hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that, that makes sense. Yeah, so my dad wasn't telling all lies, but they weren't all truths either. either. Hmm. I do find it suspicious that he seemed to uh, almost set set us up. Um. Yeah. I just think my dad wanted us out of the way. Even you. Huh. So I guess I I can't I can't assume if you were to get caught by the police, he would uh, instantly bail you out. So I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be that much of a hassle. And it teach me a lesson. Not the not the words I would use, but sure. Well, he's not usually the one who teaches me lessons anyway, so he let someone else do the dirty work. <laughs> so, all right. So, while you guys are sitting around drinking the the very strong coffee, Nixon gets a call from her IT buddy, Frank. He said, hey, uh, I knew you were looking into uh, some stuff about Mr. Moon. Found something uh, kind of weird. You remember Julia? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I saw that she actually had uh, some encrypted emails. I haven't, I haven't been able to process them yet. But it seems like they were going back between her and his office. I just thought you might want to know. I don't know oh. if I should talk to your dad about it yet, or if you want to uh, no, tell him. No, that's okay. I'll take care of it. Oh, okay. Thanks. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, can you send me what you have so far? Uh, sure. They're still encrypted. Do you want me to encrypt them first? It might take a few minutes. Uh, um, sure. Okay, I'll, Thanks, I'll do buddy. that, and I'll I'll send them to you here by oh, the great. end of the Thank day. You. Okay. Thanks, babe. No, no problem. <laughs> Anything for you. Awesome. So, uh, who was that? Uh, just Frank, the IT guy. Do you call all the him. IT guys babe? I'm calling him babe to get what I want from him. Ah, uh, of course you are. She ever called you babe, Kaz? <laughs> are you saying this loud enough for me to hear? I plead the fifth. <laughs> oh my god. It's so hard for me to be. <laughs> I think that's a yes. I don't use that kind of. Never mind. Never mind. Nixon didn't hear that. She's too busy talking to Frank. So, okay. So, Frank, yeah. Um, whenever you get that over to me, that'd be great. Okay. I'll uh, yeah. talk to you later, okay? All right. Yeah, yeah. Should be by the end of the day. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Ugh. God. This Frank guy seems uh, resourceful. Yeah, he's fine. <laughs> hmm. Sure. Well, anyway, thanks for... Uh, finding this this is all out yeah i mean i just want to get the truth remember that's what we all said we wanted right the truth <laughs> yeah and this is definitely some truth and it's a start you okay hmm? are you okay oh yeah just got a, a lot on my mind right now it Okay. I make a cup of coffee and I like walk towards the window and sit down and I like, look at these guys and start like scrolling through my uh, phone and waiting for the encrypted emails. Okay. So it's going to be a little bit time wise um, just to meta a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. So mm -hmm. I'm giving them I time to talk else if they want to talk. Okay. So rip. Uh, what have you found found out, if anything? Ugh, I'm sorry. Long night. 
Uh, okay. Um, I talked to Mike. Apparently, he's fed up with all this stuff as much as we are. He's willing to cooperate and give me information as long as I provide some protection and promises, you know, make sure he gets little as little time as possible with the DA. I was able to pull some strings, so I won't know exactly how much information he has for me until I go back and talk to him, but he's alluding that he has something to do with the big fire and arson of a big fire a couple of while back possibly arson yeah that's what i thought too anyway uh, uh, but yeah uh interesting hmm did he agree for uh for you to meet about this alone i would just suggest that we probably meet it alone i want to maintain a level of trust with him if i start bringing more people around he might no yeah think... Yeah. I get that. It's just, uh, listen, and I hand him uh, my audio recorder. When you get into there, can you just record what you say? It would help me out a lot. Trust me. Where did you, where do you keep this? I have a jacket for a reason. Oh, so it's not the one from your face. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> Okay, well, well, I'll use it then. <laughs> the good reporter has always got to have a backup. Okay, so, Nixon, you are getting a forwarded email from your buddy Frank. Mm -hmm. And he hasn't got all of them quite done yet, but he okay. figured he'd send this one to you because it's urgent. Okay. Julia is taking Mr. Moon's plane to Columbia tonight. Like, in real time tonight. Yeah. Like, it's morning okay. in the game right now. That that day. Okay. Yes. Okay. <gasps> okay. I react and go, hey, hey, guys. This one is, um, Julia's taking a plane to Columbia tonight to meet me, Mr. Moon. Tonight? Yeah. Like, tonight, okay. tonight. Yeah, you see and on there, what there's a schedule for about 11 p.m. Well, tonight. of course, this this would, of course, to us, this would actually mean something. But, you know, <laughs> it's not really a lot, a lot, to, lot to report on, given that it's just a flight. It does seem suspicious, though. Mm. Well, Maybe. I mean, you remember from the party that she was the liaison between my dad's company and... Some other E that had to deal with Mike's stuff because Mike and Julia were involved. Yes. And then she's Mike is the one building stuff. And like, I'm like trying to piece it together and like thread everything yeah, together. He's definitely a valuable pawn in this story, definitely. But I just wonder right. what they're going to do for that flight, where they're going and why. Well, I guess we know where they're going, but why? Columbia where these gangsters are from. Yeah, but I actually need to know a little more d details. Well, I'm sure Frank or will have more emails, but this is the most urgent one. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have a few hours to kill, but I'm sure we'll figure I'm, something out. Okay, listen, we need to think this th th this through. What can we actually do with this, though? What, are you suggesting that, that, that we somehow hijack the plane or become stowaways? It's a possibility. Oh, wow. You're actually serious about this. I mean, you want the truth. You want answers, don't you? You want a story, don't you? Right, Cass? I, yes. Yes, I know. It's just... What a better never story than, a... like, getting in the action. Yeah. See, okay. That's what? <laughs> but the problem the problem with, with this is who's actually go, go, going to go. I mean, sure, maybe you can make it to see that uh, Julie is your friend, at least somewhat. So you could probably pull some strings and just make it seem like you're accompanying her. But I don't think that that would be the the best course. It's not like I can just go in, go in there. Why not? 
What do you mean? Why? Why not? I, like, obviously, would they literally let someone like me onto that plane? Well, maybe not dressed like that. We can disguise mm. you. And not. you see, like, you see, like, um, Nixon's like eyes kind of bright up, and she's like, fa imagining you like making you over and like dressing you up into like some of the latest fashions, like. We could get you uh, on that plane in a very interesting way. Can't be wow. me. I gotta wait for Mike. <laughs> That's true. You do have to meet with Mike, don't you? Yep. You do have a full day, I will tell you. Yeah. So there All is... right. Uh, a, a full day to go to Columbia and back? Go. Well, the plane's not leaving until tonight. And it's morning yeah, now. Mm -hmm. I know, random voice. I was making a joke. So <laughs> <laughs> Your voice in my head. Stop. Um, That's why he drinks. Plane. You know, he drinks. I he try drinks. to help. I try to do my job, and you know what? We he tried to referee, guys. <laughs> okay. Sorry, God. All right. I'm Nick, just Nixon. throwing out ideas. Okay, I'm sorry. If you can, if you can, for sure, get me on 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 that plane, then I think we got we got ourselves a, a plan. So unfortunately, I should probably be getting to the office before someone uh, tries to realize where the heck I am. Okay. Is it not the weekend yet? What day is it? <laughs> it's oh yeah, is it the weekend or not? I I, I assumed it. It's a weekday. Yeah, oh, I assumed okay. it was a weekday. Sorry, I don't really follow a major schedule. I just do what I please. <sighs> I wish I could do the same, but you know, kind of tied to this. Okay. Yeah, duty call. Okay, well. So, Kaz, do you want to head to the the newsroom? Yeah, I'll head to the new. Yeah, Kaz is going to head to the newsroom. Hopefully not be late. All right. So we're going to split him off and we'll, we'll head over there for a minute. So, Kaz... You come in to see your boss kind of pacing nervously and acting weird. And when he sees you, he rushes over to you. Hey, son, what was that story you were working on again? Can you tell me a bit more about it? Oh, yeah, it's about what was Nixon's company's name again? Lunar. Lunar, right. Yeah, uh, the story about Lunar, right? And could you maybe describe exactly what kind of story you were working on? Because uh, here's the situation. Uh, Nathan, you know, the man, he came in here earlier this morning, first thing this morning. He was kind of concerned about where it was going, if you catch my drift. Why Why? Why would he be concerned with my story? It's well, my story. I, that, that's why I'm asking you, what exactly are you trying to write about? Well, the truth, and um, for right now, the truth is pointing to, uh, well, that they've been a victim of some attacks. Ah, a victim. Hmm. Are you telling the truth or are you trying to be deceitful? I'm being deceitful. Hmm. So you want to, I almost said deception. Oh, yeah. Do you want to roll up for the... <laughs> That would be... I'm going to put that under empathy. Cool. Okay. okay, under empathy. Uh, if I'm persuasion, if, if it's a persuade sort of thing, yeah. I also have a skill for that. Okay. How good of a liar are you? Oh, God. This should be this should be really good. As long as I get like a decent decent roll, mm. this should be fine. I should be fine. Okay. Ooh. So here's the thing. Oh That's a three. Famous, famous last word. That's a word. three plus, plus eight. Eleven. Uh, Okay. 11. And 11 plus 5, so that's 16. Okay. Mm. That's not the worst he thing. Said, not the worst. He kind of eyes you suspiciously. He's like, okay, but before you send whatever you got to the editor, bring it to my desk first, okay? Thanks. I'm just going to get the editor to edit. You got it, boss. All right. So it's gonna be good, his name's gonna be on it. If it's terrible, it's just gonna be edited to shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So it's the worst. Rip Nixon, what are mm-hmm. you guys up to? So what are you gonna say to Mike? Oh, I'm I'm still here. I don't know. Uh, are you? <laughs> <laughs> You're on your third cup of coffee. I thought you would. You know. <laughs> that we are professionals we are we're so good at this rolling start (laughs) (laughs) all right so anyway today is now the finale assuming my internet doesn't break down again but everything seems to be working okay so for anybody just to recap what we did last time The main pieces of information we got were that Julia was heading to Columbia tonight on Mr. Moon's private jet. And I know Nixon and Kaz were working on a plan to maybe sneak on to that flight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Rip had also made his way to Mike's shop. So we'll we'll start there. And I got the champagne to to celebrate. So like last time, um Rip comes into the shop, notices that there are, you know, three people around kind of aggressively talking at Mike. Can't quite make out what they're saying yet though. Hmm. Can I use an awareness roll to maybe get a my bearings on these gentlemen? Yes. Yeah. I should. I also Rip should probably log into the game. Maybe good. <laughs> I was like, I was, I was gonna I say. I, I just didn't to notice. It up. I, I didn't know what I'd be just... mean, so I just I, I, I put it in, in the chat. We case probably. But oops, sorry. <laughs> I mean, I probably sh- I probably should have said something, so my bad. But that's so. okay. My eyes just completely glanced over it. I was professional, everyone. I told you, Al. What a great. I, great I noticed there was thing. something missing on my screen. We were on such a roll yesterday, and now that's all. You know, it happens. <laughs> it happens. It's all good. We're here. We're here to have fun, y'all. All yeah. right. So where where was I? Yes, Rip's gonna, gonna roll awareness. Fine. Yes. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Oh, that's a ten. Oh. Plus four. Plus is it a re- reflex? Is a uh, it's a reflex, right? Awareness. Uh, for we've done awareness? this so many times. Yeah. We've done this so many times. And I keep I forgetting every time. I, I but yes, there is a reflex. Is it intelligence uh, or reflex? Uh, I don't remember. Well, either way, I'm making one of the them, call it, reflex. But yeah, yeah seven, you rolled a ten. So it's it's <laughs> so, I should be able to know what like, there's what kind of socks they're wearing. Yeah, you know everything about them. There's well, a security number. A 10, a ten plus what? what? What's your reflex? Ten plus a four plus a seven, twenty-one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I knew you had a bunch of like stuff to add on, so I was like, oh yeah, that's that's it. So. You notice Rip these gentlemen, they look a little bit, how do you say, not as wealthy as some of the folks you usually see in here. You notice- Wait, not as wealthy? Wealthy. Because Mike does a lot of work on the side for a lot of clients. The last, oh. the last few times you come in here, you've noticed a lot of maybe the uppity people who come here for a little bit of discreet business. These folks seem like locals. Okay, because like I was about to say, like, I thought you meant like unwealthier than the locals. So like these guys are super poor. <laughs> <laughs> these are oh, they're dang, really no. bad. No. <laughs> they're really so so they're just like the locals. <laughs> okay. Yeah. They look like local boys. You can see that they're all of them are pretty young. Maybe like early 20s late teens mm-hmm. they're not familiar to you actually except for one guy in the back and you think you remember arresting him at one point for just petty drug running 
nothing major, and he was out pretty quick. Petty. But that's all that you know. They seem and to be arguing them... about payment for something. Hmm. And one of them is behind the counter with Mike? Yeah. They're all kind of gathered around him. Arguing. All right, so right now I'm going to try to make myself... Uh, they have have they noticed me walk in yet? No. All right, then I'm gonna try to. Rip's gonna try to be quiet and sort of listen in to what's going on for right now. Okay. Yeah. So we'll say you can inch a little bit closer to where you can hear because they're they're not being super quiet. So like right here. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean they're arguing. They're not exactly being discreet. <laughs> so they're arguing. Uh, hey. Wait, you were supposed to finish our job first. So what the hell? You hear Mike say, oh, uh, look, guys, I'll have it for you in two days. Just be patient. These things aren't instant. Well, we're leaving tonight. So figure it out. Or figure it out. So you see... One of them is clearly re reaching for some sort of weapon. Hmm. Although, do you want to do anything or just let it play out? You can be a jerk. <laughs> All I care. <laughs> what are you going to do? Which part of it would be the jerk thing? I don't know. That's up for you to decide. <laughs> that's, that's for you. Because <laughs> you're that's like, a I could be a decision. jerk. I'm like, I don't. Hmm. Up for interpretation. So which one is which one is pulling out? The one. Which closest. one's going reaching for something? The one closest. The closest to Mike or the closest. The one to closest me? to Mike. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Like, remember what your <laughs> remember what your mission is right now. Yeah. I know. I got to I don't want to cause a scene, but I don't want Mike to get hurt. So I'm trying to think how to play this. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. We can come back to you. We can go and see what Nixon and Kaz are up to if you want a minute to think about it. Yeah, because I'm coming up with, I'm brainstorming something. Okay. <laughs> All right. Nixon, what's the deal? <laughs> well, Nixon's at her house. Um, she just got um, she's cleaning up after um, the little breakfast date or whatever. Oh, it was um, a date. Well, you know, with the guys, the little rendezvous or whatever of just catching up and discussing what they were going to do for the day. Our um, powwow. Yeah, a little powwow, whatever. Um, the other thing that happened last time in her brain, that's what she's thinking about really, is the interaction she had between Frank and her normal tactics of getting what she wants and how that might have upset Kaz. Mm -hmm. um, but she tries to brush it aside and she's like, okay, how am I going to get Kaz and I on this plane? And so she starts doing some perusatory shopping Ooh. online. Just like doing some research about some places that they can go that would be kind of discreet where you know because she is so popular so she but she wants good stuff so she's trying to find some shops that would be you know not in like the biggest like um not like the the super duper high end but like pretty close but would be a little bit more discreet where they could go to do some shopping um so that's basically she's just researching that while the salting down or going down so that's that's kind of what she's doing right now okay and i will say for shopping with in-game rules since because if you're kind of positioned in the world i do have bonuses for personal grooming and wardrobe plus and style yes and you basically and disguise with, with your status yeah. You have access to most clothing type things. Money mm -hmm. and such like that is not really an object for you. Right. 
Because mm-hmm. they just, you come into the store and they're like, oh, it's you. Let's give you stuff. Right. Right. So. I have, like, personal shoppers at every store, basically. Right. So. Okay. Kaz, have you been working on that story? Any- uh, as far as what's happening now, I would still be, uh, Kaz would still be in, in, in the office, most, most likely. He has to be there for a set amount of hours. <laughs> but okay. it, it's pretty slow, so he's just kind of working on uh, gathering all of his notes together and uh, writing possible scenarios just in case. Or something. Multiple different versions of the same article. Okay. All right, Rip. Oh yeah. Did you make any decisions? Hmm. How are we gonna play this? So this is Rip's thought process right now. I gotta distract these guys to make sure they don't hurt Mike. But I don't want to get into a fight with all three of them in the store. Okay. So how do I distract them? Hmm. Then I thought, what do punks don't want to deal with? An annoying drunk. Hmm. So I reach in to my jacket where I keep my old little uh, reserve, if you would. No. And sort of oh my. <laughs> sprinkle it on my hands like I got some, you know. Axe body spray or musk and just <laughs> pop myself up here. <laughs> and then I it's knock myself I knock myself into the closest thing around me and fall over and make a ruckus. And I probably have something to roll on that <laughs> of how yeah. effective the ruckus roll is. For- Roll body, see how much, see how much destruction you can cause. With, All right. You're rolling around. <laughs> and while I roll, I make a big, God damn it. So they definitely so notice you. The six you knock six. over. <laughs> that's 12. Yeah. yeah. Knock over one of Mike's tables. He knows you. Hey, I was working on that. Thanks. Yeah, sure. What's the deal with yeah. this guy? Oh god, my phone. <laughs> That's also a distraction. <laughs> ruckus. The ruckus continues. Yeah, Just yeah. All kinds of noise. Oh, this guy. What? Is, why is he drunk? It's like 11 a.m. <gasps> there is 12 o'clock somewhere. It's a party. <laughs> oh my god. Mike comes to you, uh, wait, I know you. What are you doing back here? The punk is just kind of like who, eyeballing who you. Is that, is that wow. Mike says that or? or Mike says guy? that. They all kind of are eyeballing you. Hey, He's wait. Like, uh, I that's saw the, there was a party. That's the guy who arrested me. Look at him now, dudes. <laughs> Oh, you're seeing this? Takes out a cell yeah, phone, I'm, starts I'm, uh, snapping pictures. You. Yeah, I arrested you. <laughs> Punks. Back when I was a cop and oh, I was respected then and now. It is oh, so you hear that? Hard. It doesn't sound like he's a cop anymore, boys. Oh, no. Did I just do something? <laughs> You all hear that? Mike I didn't say up, I wasn't hey. a cop. I said I was respected more than. No, I'm not. <laughs> just... People always make fun of me. I'm chill. Whatever. Mike is like, uh, yeah, you should leave. <laughs> uh, Mike, I don't want to stick around here. Hey, need help getting out of here? Yeah, 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 we'll go have a party. 
Yeah, yeah, let's go have let's go outside, have a party. Sounds good. Does that get the three guys out? Unless if you go with them, they'll follow you. If you all right, if you leave. then I leave because I want to get okay. them away from Mike. Because I need Mike. All right. So now you guys are <laughs> are outside. Oh, be there. <laughs> the cop it's car was fun there. time. <laughs> always fun times with Rip. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Rip. But now they followed you outside. So, really not a not a cop anymore? Uh, no, that this was a lie. Be, this could be fun. Oh, wait. No, that was that was a lie. Wait, what? Uh, shit, guys. Prove it. Do you got your badge? Uh, yeah. Literally have it on me it? all the time. Where is it? Ah, and shit, guys. <laughs> guys, guys, this will be my third strike. We, we maybe, maybe we'll let's just leave. This would be my. Yeah, I, I don't want to go back there. Not for life. Mm mm. Bye. Yep, third, third strikes the charm. Clean yourself up. <laughs> Did they tell me to clean myself up? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Burn. Perfect. That was not where I was expecting that to go. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> All hey, right. I got so out now. of it without throwing a punch. Hey. Night outside, <laughs> but you... You notice they don't go far. They seem to go to a few buildings down. But as long as they can't out of see your, me. They're out of your way for now. All right. I just, I, Rip, Rip brushes himself off and fixes his coat and stuff and right. goes back into Mike's store. All right. <laughs> still reeking of alcohol. Yeah, you're still. Uh, I, I look still. at Mike and I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I had to get the extra company out of here. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I'm fine. I, it's part of the job. You gotta improvise sometimes. Yeah, first first cop I've seen do that. But uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, most other cops suck. But yeah. Uh, anyway, I hear you there. I'm here to talk to you about the what we were talking about before. I got, I got a hold of the DA. They're willing to cooperate and give you some protection. If huh? you cooperate uh, and make it worth their while too. I mean, well, I guess that's as fair as it's gonna get. Uh, how does this work? Do I need to go down to like the, the station? Or do I just need to give you a statement? Um, I don't usually work with cops, as you can well tell. It's up to you. I would I want to hear some of the details right now, but then you later on would give a full statement down at the precinct. Well, all right. Well, here's here's the gist of what I can tell you. Before he okay. starts, I flick the little Kaz thing on. Okay. The Kaz thing. The Kaz thing. The nice. one that's not from his face. Thank God. <laughs> All right. Uh, so. Still had some left. <laughs> I thought you weren't drunk, but anyway, not. I guess it doesn't <laughs> matter. <sighs> well, here's the thing: me and um, a group of my buddies moved up here uh, a few years ago, looking for for work. We're we're not from here, actually. We're from. Uh, Columbia, but um, came up here looking for work, but it was kind of hard to find, if you know what I mean. It's the city isn't as great as everybody makes it out to be, but we did get a job offer, not exactly legal, but um, one of your buddies, Nathaniel, he was uh, pretty upset about some of his competition. So, uh, he asked us if we might help, I don't know, scare him off a bit from the industry. 
And how did you go about scaring them off? Well, at first, uh, me and my boys just ran around, you know, harassing people, low-level stuff. But he gave us a lot of money to do something more extreme. So remember that fire from a few years ago? Yeah. Yeah. um, One of my boys said that. I didn't think it was a good idea, but he took the money and... I'll be honest, we could have used it. So. So wait, one of your boys did the job and then ran off with the money? Yeah. Stuck us here. Now we're doing all these odd jobs. Trying to at least earn a little bit of money to afford to buy our property back home and get back there. Well, I say, well, I say that's unlucky. You sort of... The risk you take when you go into that kind of business. Look, look. We did petty stuff. You know, a little bit of thievery, a little bit of, uh, we'll say black market salesmanship, but killing people, uh, that's even a little much for, for me. Hmm. Do you have a name for this character? Yeah. His name is, um... His name's Riley, but he left a few years ago. Nobody's, I'm assuming he's who knows where in South America. Haven't Uh, been able to track him down. So no reason to believe he stayed here. Mm, Nah, nobody I know knows of or seen from him. But I know you want information. I do have um, some of the messages between us and Nathaniel from back in the day. I'm assuming that would help. That would help a lot, yes. Would you be able to hand those over? Do yeah. you have a USB or anything you can give me? Ugh. Uh, I have some copies on my computer, but I can send them to you. So you guys can exchange. We can just pretend you exchanged information. I have the information now. Yeah. yeah. You just see some basic stuff. Um, just stuff along the lines of Hey, I need you to go to this place. Scare the people away. Hey, was that you who set the fire? You know, type of few little things like that. That are very Mm -hmm. incriminating and makes it clear that Nathaniel knew something about what was going on. Okay. Yeah, definitely, definitely incriminating from what it sounds like. So quick out of character question. Mm -hmm. The building that was burnt down that was that was lunar's warehouse wasn't it or was that it, the the other company's warehouse? it used to be burned it down they got rid of it because obviously they didn't want to stay there lunar brought it i'm sorry if i didn't lunar, so lunar bought it after the burn, yes it burned yeah. down yeah okay burned down. i thought it was before yeah. it burned down. and i apologize if i i might have misspoke or God. No, no, that's fine. But yeah, Just, I wanted to clarify. Okay, yeah. cool. So All it was the other companies before. It was the other companies mm-hmm. before, though, right? Yes. Yeah. Got it. Okay. All right. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. So now you thanks have for the that. Inf- thanks for the info, Mike. I'll cut. I got something happening tonight. But first thing tomorrow morning, I'll have you come into the precinct and give a statement, an official statement. Okay. Thanks. Keep your head, keep your head clean until then and make sure none of those assholes keep coming around and bugging you. Just, uh... Don't need no, no small time boys messing you up. Well, I don't know. They were being pretty aggressive. I'm kind of, I'll be honest with you, kind of worried that they might be up to something or might know that me and my boys were involved in some crazy stuff. I, you have my info, but I'm probably going to go somewhere else for at least yeah. a day. If I were you, hang low and don't get in contact with anyone. In a day or so, I'll contact you to meet you up. Okay. Sounds good. I've been needing a vacation anyway. Uh, All right. So in... there's well, that. The... And recording. I'm not used <laughs> to saying that. That's a Kaz thing. And recording. <laughs> okay. So 
you have your info now. Good job. And now, Nixon, you have gotten the rest of the emails from Frank. Frank. He doesn't send right. much. It's just a few. But he has an email that says from Mr. Moon Secretary saying, please remember, you know, flight leaves 11.55 p.m. Please remember to bring the briefcase and the weapons prototype with you. Oh. Oh. And that's okay. what you get from there. Okay. Um, I s reply to Frank and I say, Frank, you did a great job. Thank you so much for all your help. Um, I have to be honest with you. I I was unkind and led you on. Oh. Oh, well, that's okay. I, I understand. Uh, thank you for for saying something. Uh, <laughs> Did he respond to the message right away? <laughs> I know. It's like, I'm sorry. I thought you were done. Uh, Frank, <laughs> Frank, 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 Frank does seem like the type of guy who would. <laughs> He would, he's just he constantly lying. on his phone, he that dude. like waiting. Yeah, I'm like, oh, no, waiting for anything. Yeah, come on. He was watching your type message. And he yeah, he's watching your type message. Yeah. Frank was yeah. so excited. He saw that that little text bubble. Like, yeah. oh, it's gonna be good. Oh, <laughs> oh. I'm gonna get a thank you and everything. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, I'm gonna get that drink. I'm gonna get that number. Um, <laughs> um, I hope we can still be friends. I'm really sorry, but I have feelings for someone else. Oh, well, okay, yeah, I, I understand. Uh, we can still be friends if you want. Uh, thanks. Uh, call me if you need help with anything else. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry again. It's okay. Really. Okay, I'll I'll talk oh to you. God, it's okay. Bye. It's not and okay, guys. <laughs> Frank is devastated. <laughs> Poor Frank. Frank. <laughs> hey, she's honest with him. That's good. Yeah. At least there's That's character growth, guys. Oh uh, yeah, honest character growth. Yeah. Boom. Mm -hmm. Nixon never would have done that before. Um. So yeah, she does that. Um. Okay, so then she's uh, she updates um, the guys, okay. and and uh, she basically just waits for them to finish their job because she has nothing else to do until they are get back. Okay, so um... well, Kelly's gonna probably try try to get out early now that you've sent that. Okay, and try to go because we need to. Yeah. Need to go get and get shopping. Right. If you want, we rip, can rip. fast forward to evening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rip takes a quick shower before he comes back because he smells like booze. <laughs> thank you, Rip. Yes, thank you. You're one of those fancy showers. <laughs> All right. So we can just say, you know, y'all wrap up what you're doing, clean up, and are we gathering at Nixon's place again? Mm hmm. Okay. I think it's a fair, fair spot. Mm hmm. Okay, so you guys are together. We'll say it's about, eh, we'll say it's about six p.m. right now. So you have a few hours. It it leaves at ten, right, or something like that. Eleven. The eleven fifty-five is yeah, departure. It's departure time. Oh, we better oh, make sure. You gotta make sure that we're at least there. Yeah, or oh, maybe ahead of the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, we can try to sneak on and somehow. On a private jet. No. Well, it shouldn't be too too hard at least get getting getting me up there. You got like a plan? Oh, well, are we okay. together now? Yes. Everybody's okay. together. Mm -hmm. right. So, um first things first, we gotta look the part to get on this jet. Um we also have to figure out how to 
pass as Julia. Which I think I can do. Wait, pass as Julia? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Pa- what? Yeah. That's I the think... plan? Huh? Yep. <laughs> I, I think thought... I need to intercept Julia. I, I feel like we missed a step. <laughs> I know, I'm just so... spitballing here, guys. I don't know. I just was sitting at home thinking, I don't know. What are your what are your options? Uh, what do you guys think? No, I was thinking, I, was, I, I was thinking it, it it would be a lot easier to pose as I don't know, like a bodyguard or escort, you know. I look yeah, at bodyguard. I look myself, <laughs> I look at me and I go, and what am I supposed to be? Oh, I didn't know you were coming along. I didn't know that either. Okay, so what am I supposed to do then? Find out whatever whatever you, you you can. You're like the best person that that can that uh, would happen to have access to your company's da- database. So, and unless you have a really good disguise, I'm pretty sure at least someone there is going to recognize you. That too. No one there is going to recognize as me. And if we, and if we, uh, you know, I guess get some different clothes, then sure. Also, yeah. uh, Kaz points to his chest. I do have this. You have a chest, yes. <laughs> no, mm-hmm. no, no, my voice mod. Oh, right. Oh, true. Oh, thought that would be a throat thing. <laughs> I mean, that's that's true. Sorry, I just want to be more involved, I guess. Um, no, that's no, that's, that's fine. Um, really? You don't check no, the type of person that would do that. Oh well. You know, I... well, we have to really think this through. When no. we get there, assuming we get on the plane, what is, what's the plan after that? Well, you know, I didn't really think that far ahead. Okay, so let's say, do we all want to go on? On, on this plane? I mean, that would be even more suspicious. We would need really good aliases. Right. Okay. So, if we get on this plane, what do we want? What do we need? Hmm. Wait a minute. You might not even need a disguise. I cock my head. What? I mean... You're an important figurehead in, in the in the company. Shouldn't you, I don't know, be able to just tag along with, with Julia? You two are <clears throat> friends, right? Wait. Mm. Would Julia even know if she's not a part of it? Is she even that high in a totem pole? She might even, yeah. She could f- fool Julia, and Julia might actually believe she's in on it. Say something like, oh, I was just so bored, I have nothing to do. And I saw, Ju- just happened to, to see see you here. Total coincidence. And Well, I am in on it now. <laughs> you know, I like this idea. This is fun. Yeah, Julia didn't seem like someone that was too hard to, get, to trick anyway in the party. Now, my only oh. problem is that she'll definitely re- re- remember us. I mean, maybe. Well, that's why well, I'm not going. Guy. Why not are you going, Rick? <laughs> <laughs> well, someone's got to be here, and I got I got the whole case on my end. Well, how? Well, then, uh, hmm. yeah, that is true. Unless... There's not there's not much I can re- really do here. <laughs> but how the heck am I going to get on, on on that plane with this plan? Um, the disguise. Disguising as what? <laughs> it's not like my you're gonna... bodyguard. Huh? Uh, me? Mm-hmm. Isn't that more of a rip disguise? With proper tailoring for anything. Not exactly, you know, fit. Listen. You're plenty fit. It's not about the muscles that make the man. (laughs) It's the attitude. And the proper tailoring. Yes, and a good suit. Well, I can get at least one of those things. Listen, as long as you just look menacing and don't talk, you'll be fine. And if you do talk, you have the voice thing. Oh, that's right. I do. 
Yeah, I still wouldn't talk. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. And maybe not that voice. Pick a different one. <laughs> We've heard that one. Okay. We don't want to sound like Mike. She knows Mike. Remember, I used that last time. I'll try my best. But you yeah. might be right. It might be better just to not talk at all. Yeah, less less mic, more, you know, channel your inner like more Mongo. more mute. Mongo or mute, yes. Mute sounds you good. You can sound too. like rip. Oh <laughs> there's only one rip, baby. <laughs> I wouldn't dare do that. You can sue me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so <Fair. laughs> it was so hard for me not to just say something. Why but, didn't you? Your game. But so you have a few hours. Are there any tasks you want to complete? Anybody you want to talk to or anything before you head to the airport? Well, hey, Rip, you met with Mike, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can I have the audio recorder back? Yeah, here you go. Also, I, I share the information that I had with, uh, that I got from Mike with, with, uh, Kaz and Nixon. Okay. Got it. Perfect. Huh. So they, they can see what was, uh, from my end, what was going on. Who, who, who would know that, uh, who would know that that arson would be connected to all this? Mm hmm. So this in itself would definitely get an indictment, but we can really blow this thing right open if we can catch them in the act. Yeah. This would also be a him. nice, a nice gotcha for for the company not believing me. <laughs> wow, <laughs> the story is gonna be so great. Yeah, Kaz, make it all about you. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I need to um rectify a few things that my father has been doing. Do you want to go talk to your dad? Oh, no. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I <Baron. don't. laughs> Not until no, after we do something. No, no final scene with the dad until afterwards. Okay. <laughs> we'll save that for later then. <laughs> okay, so are we ready to head to the airport? No. Okay. We've got shopping to do. We got, yeah, we got to, like, have our nice little montage well, of getting Kaz shopping already. Shopping montage? Yes. Oh, oh, make up for Have fun, oh, fun, fun shopping. <laughs> uh, you probably won't need me, me there anyway. Come on, Kaz. <laughs> I'm hot going 80s to. Music, hot hot 80s right. music blaring as he's holding all the bags. I need Rip to do the <laughs> other set of eyes. Come on, Rip. You're coming. Do I need oh, to blare no. some 80s music right now? I'll do it. I need to come with Oh wait, no! I don't need the stream to get muted. That'd be yeah, unfortunate. Yeah, that that'd be bad for the YouTubes. <laughs> We're just all Another you one. know have something in our own heads. It's gonna just be think, a think about it. Chat. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Royalty free music. Kaz and Nixon are going shopping. And Rip's coming too, because I again I need another set of eyes. <laughs> Make like, hold it out go and shopping. Come out of the dressing room. <laughs> and be like, yes. And Rip goes, mm -mm. and we yeah, come out I... again and go. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 remember, Rip is the dad. <laughs> oh, 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 I... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Rip is dad. Oh. Uh, how do and I then... feel like this? Why do I feel like this is the face he's making too? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> That's totally. perfect. Mm -hmm. You're great at and then this. It, and then we come to a consensus that there's one outfit that just like screams the perfect Kaz disguise. <laughs> what does that outfit look like? Describe mm. it to me. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So it has to be like <clears throat> bodyguardish, but like classy. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so it has to be like really like super tailored to your frame okay um but like really broadens your shoulders um so let's say it's like a really nice dark navy suit oh yeah good navy suit. um with like a very interesting pinstripe color so maybe like a like a magenta 
pinstripe because flare um and we get you a wig too um it, it gives him a look that says i'm here to protect but i'm also here to serve yes <laughs> like bodyguard the movie oh my <laughs> um so like a really nice quaffed wig um we make do you have facial hair or anything what color are we giving nope. what color hair no. are we giving him all right what color hair do you normally have kaz uh let me black black okay maybe we don't give you a wig we just make you slick your hair back like really slick it back um I'm trying to think like really debonair. Um hmm, <laughs> sorry, I'm like going really thinking about this really hard. Um yeah, all right. Sorry. I'm really trying to make the chat understand what my vision is, you know? And people need to understand uh, the vision. Also, how are oh, you yeah, shoppers need to know. gonna know? Yeah, to buy. I mean, they need to know. It's important. Um, some like really interesting, like Hmm. I want to think like, uh, what are those like, um, like a zoot suit riot, like a zoot suit kind of cut in the pant, so like really wide leg. Okay. I don't know. Oh, wow. Very interesting, just but really tailored up top. So like again, really like I like it. It's a frame. Big eighties vibes. Yeah, definitely. So but really nice. Something like yes, that. Yes, he has the power sold shoulders look. Yes. Kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice. It fits you perfectly. So we have, we have Kaz all, all dressed the shoulders, up and ready to none go. of the power. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yep. And we're all like, yes, this is the this is the look. Mm-hmm. I get my little Probably Mr. Be the fanciest Miyagi thing now. I ever wear. Mm-hmm. Nixon has some hearts in her eyes. Oh. It's like that moment from like a uh, pretty woman where just like <laughs> <laughs> How did our cyberpunk game turn into pretty woman? Bodyguards oh, yeah. always wear wear these. Are you sure? <laughs> I thought this was supposed to be all dark and edgy and then here we are. You know. It was edgy for about like twenty Ten minutes. minutes in the first episode. <laughs> that was yeah. That was the first, the first episode was the, was the most edgiest. It's true. Where I pulled a gun on you. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. And then I was like, "Screw it! I'm just gonna try to make you laugh every time I say something." <laughs> I feel like I've become Jimmy Fallon, trying not to laugh at their own, their own sketches. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, but guys, guys, okay, for real. Okay, <laughs> Wow. Kaz, you look real good. I think this will yeah. work. It's kind of tight, though. but No, it's perfect. Are you, are you sure bodyguards wear this? You might want to turn the voice modulator on now. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Does yeah, this... Hold on. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I can't uh, pick up a really good voice, though. It's That's, uh, that's okay. You sound perfect the way you are. Anyway, let's. You look good. I think this will work. Rep, you agree? Uh, you think so? Yeah. Yep. All right. Let's. Um. So, Rep, you are. What are you going to do tonight then if you're not coming? <sighs> well, I got to go to the police station and set up the interview with my uh, old friend Mike there. And also, I'm going to make sure that no one tries to stop that plane from taking off. Oh, okay. So you are going to help in that part. Okay. 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 It's like I got to make sure you guys get on that plane, too. If worse comes to worse, that plane's taking off with you on it. Ah, okay. you'll be our uh, our chauffeur. God, don't call me that ever. <laughs> Do we have to get him a chauffeur outfit? No. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> hey, listen. If I'm dressing up, if I'm dressing up for this, yeah, I'll dress right. up too. <laughs> yes, we get him a nice black suit. Okay. 
It's significantly less fancy. Yes. <laughs> but it's still pretty nice to rip. I'm never hanging out with you ever again after this. Uh, don't weekend. say that now. Say it when we're, I don't know, 50. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, he's like 20 years older than we are. Say it to uh, us when you're when when I'm fifty. <laughs> I'm only dead. thirty-five. <laughs> I'm not forty-two. Whatever, Dad. <laughs> All right. <Hey. laughs> Sorry, All right. I'm punchy. So is our. Is there... Oh, go ahead. Is there anything else we need from the uh... <laughs> the shopping montage? Yeah. Shopping montage. Um. I have a nice outfit. Not unless there's anybody else you want to maybe try and talk to or anything else you want to investigate before you head to the airport. Um, I feel like this is that video game screen that's like saying... <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> we have everything you Are need? Are you sure? Are you sure? Please, save mm. now. Once you, once, once, you, once you continue, you can no longer go back to the overworld. <laughs> right. Are you sure you don't want to save? <laughs> Um, uh, well, I, what I do is I, I make a copy of the, uh, stuff that I got. Okay. Uh, the, um, the info, the, and I send it to an email to the DA just in case if anything happens, he has a copy of it. Yeah. So we can say everybody's information is backed up. Mm-hmm. Oh, such. Kaz has been triple, triple backed we'll just up. say you all are smart enough to to do such things. Mm -hmm. Definitely. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Okay. So off we I go. Yeah. So we're off we'll say it's airport. about you know it's an airport, and while most private jet clients don't get there super early, you guys get there about. Around 11, the check-in counter isn't too busy. busy. It's evening time. Oh, hi, Nixon. And, oh, who is this? I haven't seen him around here before. Um, do you have a flight coming in? We actually didn't have anything on the schedule for you. <clears throat> oh, I'm, I'm departing for Columbia at 11.55. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, that's right. It was under, um... Oh, yeah, it was under Lunar. I just didn't know you were going. Um, oh, yeah, they're Julie still didn't getting... inform you? Oh, no, but but that's okay. Make, you know, you know the building. Make yourselves at home. Grab yourself a coffee if you want it. They're, they're still towing the plane out, so it's going to be oh, a few wonderful. minutes. Okay, thank you. Okay, so you guys are kind of waiting around relaxing waiting and well then julia and mike head in oh julia notices you it's like oh hey where are you going where are you in didn't the father not tell you oh i i guess not um okay well you he let me in. Hmm. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, well, yeah. I mean, I know you've met Mike already. Yes. Hi, he's Mike. He's coming with me, too. Um, he's been helping us uh, build the stuff, as I'm right. sure you're aware. Yeah, I, I saw the schematics. They look really great. Good job, Mike. Oh, oh thank you. Um, well... So, what were you supposed to bring along? Are you, what'd you bring? Did you bring anything to protect yourself? You know it gets kind of dangerous down there. I know yes, you're- Yes, I have, I have maps. I know, uh, and I, Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. And I, I have Max come up, who is Kaz, <clears throat> come up behind me. And I mm. say, I have Max here. Max. Max will just kind of like nod his head and bow and not say anything. Ah, strong and silent type, just the way I like. This them. is your protection. 
Yes. Okay, well. Huh. How about I see you It's all I could come up with at the very, you know, last minute. I, I, I get it. So, have you ever been to Columbia before? Oh, that's right. You went to one of the major cities back in the day. Um, I don't know how much your dad told you to catch you up. We're actually going to a fairly rural town um, called Iza. Oh. I doubt you've been there, but, well, no, I mean. It's the first time. I mean, you know it's, gosh, it's a rural farming town, but it's rich and just uh, so many resources. And we're so close to getting what we need from there. Oh, really? So, I mean, Dad didn't give me all the specifics. I mean, he gave me, you know, the basic gist of what we're doing and, you know, the the basic land or the basic premise of the project. So I'd love to learn more. Can oh. we talk a little bit more before we get on the plane? Oh, yeah, well, of course. And Julia starts around, but Mike puts a hand on her shoulder and kind of nudges her, kind of indicating her to stop. Julia's not no. that bright, but Mike's a bit brighter <laughs> it's an matter, mike oh um i was just letting her know i we actually uh uh her passport uh they needed it um up at the desk okay julia um there let's let's go my want to go give that to him oh okay sure oh yeah i'll, I'll go do that right now Look. All right, Mike. Look. <clears throat> Nixon. Are you are you sure you want to do this? You sure you want to go through with this? I know that you guys have been looking into what's going on. Look. I like your friend. So, I'm going to tell this to you. I don't think what's happening with your father is going to end well. And I feel like out of respect for Rip, I should tell you that. I, I speak softly. I just want to know what's going on so I can stop it. I mean, okay, do you really want to know? I already, yes. look, I've done some bad things for your father, but what he wants to do, I'm just not okay with. We're actually going back to where I'm from, and they basically want to bulldoze the town. Your father and... Mr. Moon have been fighting over this for a few years now, but it's gotten worse. Neither of them has given up. They just, the mines down there are just too rich, apparently, and they, they both want it. What is the mine for? It has has everything you know that we've been running low on diamonds and gold for just basic cybernetic parts and things yeah they i mean it's rich it's fertile it's untouched of course everybody wants it but now they're fighting over it anyway i think julia's on her way back Thank you for being honest with me. Or, I think I'm, you're being honest. He's being honest. So what's Julia's deal then? Oh, hi. Well, hi. they got what they needed, apparently. Oh, like we're going to make so much off of this. Yeah, sure. Hey, Julia. Yeah. Will you come with me to the bathroom for a second? Oh, okay. 
So she follows you. She comes with you. Okay. Um, and now, and now, and now, I'm just there <laughs> with Mike. You and Mike are just hanging out. <laughs> you can bond up, bro? if you want. Hey. You look kind of familiar, but anyway. I know this bodyguard thing sucks, but <laughs> good luck down there. Uh, I've never been, so this will be interesting. All right. So Nixon and Julie are in the bathroom together. She's at the counter adjusting her, her makeup, freshening up. Yeah, and I'm doing the same. I'm, like, touching up my lipstick and, like, powdering my nose. So, and I say to her... Oh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I'm just surprised. Last time I heard your dad just didn't want you involved. He didn't think you could deal with it. <laughs> yeah, my dad likes to underestimate me all the time. Oh, believe me, I Funny. know how it is. Yeah. I'm sure. So, like, and I'm, like, trying to put on, like, all the charm or whatever. And, but, like, act kind of ditzy. Just, like, to be at her level. So, like, what are you getting out of this? Like, I know you've been working super hard for my dad. And, like, you're doing all this extra work. I mean, this is not oh. even, like, your normal job. So, like... Look. Why are you in all on this? You're not. This isn't not events coordination. You like, know how stingy he is with promotions and raises. Yeah. Like I have no idea, but yeah. Totally. <laughs> I mean, I gotta do what I can. It's getting a lot more expensive to live here. You know. Yeah. Yeah, but there's gotta be like other reasons. I mean. This, you said it yourself. It's really dangerous down there, right? <laughs> like going to this rural I mean, town. Our city is dangerous too. If you, I, I know you don't get it because you've never had to think about it for more than two seconds. But like we all didn't grow up with a silver spoon in our mouths. It, the city here is dangerous too, unless you have a lot of money. Okay. So why wouldn't I? I'm tired well, of constantly I mean, fighting. Yeah, I, I guess. Um, geez, I was just asking, but okay. Look, I'm gonna be I'm all sorry. defensive about it. That was kind of mean, but <sighs> also Look, thank was... you for the raid, Andrea. I didn't want to. Thank you. I just didn't want to pop in the middle of that <laughs> hit that Wait, intense conversation. No. <laughs> No, it's good. Thanks for the raid. Thank you. Um, look. I... We all have problems. And... My problems are different than your problems. Obviously. But... I just wanted to know... Why... You were fighting for what you were fighting for. That's all. I mean, it's just trying to survive. Sometimes it's not that complicated. Okay. Fair. And look. I mean, somebody is going to get access to this town basically anyway. Might as well people who might actually kind of care at least enough not to completely destroy it yeah funny you say that anyway, anyway. I'm done here <laughs> me too <laughs> she's right. kind of getting exasperated with the yeah the conversation mm-hmm yeah, it's fine. I let her leave. So everybody's out in the lobby now. I'm assuming our chauffeur Rip went back or is hanging out outside. I'm sticking around to make sure everything goes. Is make sure they get on that plane. 
Okay. But I'm not like, I'm not next to them or anything. Yeah, you know, like, I'm just keeping the, a distance. Like the parking area kind of thing, or it, yeah, in the entryway. Okay. All right. So you see that they're about to get on this plane. So, well, let's head out. It's you, Mike, Kaz, and Julia. So all four of you on there, and then of course the the staff. Rip, you notice that they're on the plane, but you noticed a few people kind of start to um, pull up. See people in a not the nicest car, definitely not nice enough for this part of town, but it's not a complete beater. Mm -hmm. You see three people in it, but it's late at night, so you can't really, really see them or their faces very well. Can I roll, would I, if I roll awareness, would it help me get a better look at them? Um, yeah. Go All right. It. So I'm going to, I'm going to roll for awareness. Seven plus... Okay. Four is 11 plus uh, 18. It'd be 18. Okay, nice. 18. So you notice that you think, but you're not 100% sure, but it looks like the guys who were harassing Mike earlier. God damn it. <laughs> All right. Rip keeps an eye on them, starts following them to see where they're going. Yeah. Right now, they're just kind of in the, the parking lot in their car, looking like they're talking amongst themselves. They haven't, haven't done anything yet. Yeah, right. but Rip has a feeling that they're <laughs> showing up here is not a coincidence. A bad feeling. <laughs> bad a bad feeling. feeling about this? Yes. Um... Is there a specific orientation you have us sitting, or can we sit wherever we want? There's not a specific orientation or organization. Okay. So, um, oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, I sit as near as I can to Kaz slash Max. Okay. And I, I whisper into his ear, I don't, I don't know where we're going anymore. Why are we doing I'm... this? Find the truth. That's what you said. I know, but I feel like we already know the truth now. Hmm. We know so... what my father has done. We know what he wants. Yeah. I know. But do you have proof? I feel like we have a good majority of it. All we have a witness testimony. It's not. That's not enough. Are we going to find it in Colombia? Most likely. Not that we have to be there for long. At least that's what it seems like. You hear Julia okay. say, Oh, well, uh, you hear Julia say, I'm like, well, it looks like I should get back in time for that concert. So, yeah. Are you sure you don't want to come back up here, Mike? And visit? So you guys notice that conversation that's happening between Julia and Mike. Mm. Do we know that he's supposed to meet up with uh, the DA tomorrow morning? Yeah. I thought that was part of the information you gave unless. Yeah. I didn't yeah. want to confirm that. To say yeah, I, that. No, no, no. I, I, I let them all know that. Okay. Okay. Wait, um, what about Mike? You said that Mike was not rich. Not planning on returning back. At least not soon. Not well, soon. yeah, like in a couple of days, yeah. He's he's laying low. Yeah. Okay. Columbia's kind of far. Right. If we and stay, plans to... listen. If we stay on. If we stay on this plane, we, we we might learn. We might learn something. But I understand. Listen, it's it's your call. Okay. So. Okay. Plans. I mean, Columbia's. 
Columbia is only like a 18 hour flight, maybe. <laughs> From wherever we are. <laughs> yeah, depending on what part of the, the yeah. world we're in. Well, right. see, these jets are super fast. That's sure. True. It's true. It's true. They're like bullet trains. Bullet trains. In the air. Right. <laughs> It's the future. It's 2020. It's future. It's true. It's a few hour flight. We got we got the sonic private jets now. It's true. all it's true. Super super comfy. Okay. okay. All right. So I trust you. Are we heading on? But unfortunately, before the plane takes off, Rip notices those hooligans. Those dang Eddie, hooligans. <laughs> those hooligans. God damn it. <laughs> Start to to head into the lobby. Airport lobby. The airport lobby. Well, if if they can't get tickets to this flight. Well, no. Hey. Well, they can still mess some stuff up. <laughs> Rip, are you coming into the lobby too? Yeah, well, I'm following them. Hey, you you, you know what I'm harassing the poor girl at the front counter. Hey, lady, uh, how much for that uh, plane over there? Sirs, I'm going to have to ask you to to leave. <laughs> Did you ask to buy the plane? I need to just be in hooligans. I'm just, I'm just making stuff up. <laughs> what? Alexis, you're making things up? I know. Game? No. Shut! No. It's not scripted at all? Not at all. Shut. Continue. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's so terrible. Hey, you need to open this door so we can get out onto the tarmac. Now. So you notice they're really accosting her and she's backing away, getting nervous. Okay, so I walk up and, and pat uh, the one pat, that recognized me on the shoulder. So uh, about that three strikes thing. Oh, no, mm. not today. I'm not going back. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. You don't understand what's going on here. Our, our friend is on that plane. We're not just here to cause problems. So you're here to cause problems for your friend? No, no, that's not what I said. <laughs> Look, we just, he forgot something. We need to give it to him. Right, Joe? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, this is an airport. They don't mess around in airports. This isn't just a petty yeah. crime. You can tell you that You cause she's... trouble here. You're going for a while. Mm -hmm. And that's, they're going to give you the full treatment. <laughs> Cavity searches and everything. Already Ready pressed for that? the panic button under the desk. So you guys should just leave, okay? You got time to get away. All you gotta do is walk back the way you came and get out of here. Roll empathy to see if they're. Yes, uh, let's to leave. roll. Let's see here. Do you, ha do you have like an intimidation skill or something? I have an authority yeah. skill. Yeah. Uh, well, authority would be. Yeah. I think authority. Yeah. Would be. So I'll roll for authority. Come on, come on. Do it. Nine. Nice. Oh. Plus five is 14, plus 10 is 24. Ooh. Ooh. So they kind of- Back to my four. They kind of all together. Look, uh, yo, we can just, we can just skip town. We can sell some stuff elsewhere. It's not, it's not worth it, man. <laughs> yeah, and they get really thorough with those cavity searches. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, hey! One of them, hey, one of them could be secretly into that. Okay. Well, I don't know. We'll save that for another campaign. Another, another only, campaign. Only DLC, consensually. DLC. Yeah, DLC. <laughs> Cyberpunk DLC. Cass is wild weekend. Cyberpunk after dark. <laughs> yes. But they just sound like campaign. Look, let's let's just get out of here. Well, so they leave. 
They're, uh, they're out. I am so happy I didn't have to and, punch anyone. And who are you? I mean, I guess you didn't do anything, but are you a customer? You might need to leave, too. <laughs> I'm just the chauffeur lady. Just making sure everything's okay. cool here. Well. I'm going to go back to my vehicle now. Oh, okay. All right, so you guys are on the plane, and, well, we can just say a little bit of time passes, and you end up in a small town. It's very familiar. In Colombia. I know. Probably <laughs> so. Eh, uh, capitalism. Hey. Like everything the same. It's monotony. <laughs> Cheaper that way. Can I say exactly. that I'm amazed that I haven't gotten to a fight yet today? I know. I've been I've been trying mm -hmm. to fight okay. too. You're trying. You're trying. <laughs> I mean, Let's but fight you. You're you're getting good rolls. I, I mean, I, I saved I saved all of it for today. I know. I mean, you if you're gonna save roll. it for any day, it's the alcohol. It's helping. Yes. Good old reds. Mm -hmm. Non spawn. All right. So you guys are here. They go up to meet, and so you and Kaz, Nixon and Kaz are following Julia and Mike around. They are, um, oh gosh, I lost my train of thought. They go up <laughs> to um, meet with um, a local government official. They ask you to wait behind but when they come back they let you know hey so nixon we were able to get them to sign off on use of 60 percent of the mines isn't that good wow I mean, we had to grease their palms a little but hey worked out that's that's wonderful what did you use to grease their palms i mean why do you think about the briefcase? And well, Mike designed some really, really nice weapons. And well, we sold them. <laughs> right. It was what of they course. wanted. I mean, it's a fair trade in my opinion. Right. 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 <laughs> All went to plan. That's great. That's wonderful news. Father will be so pleased. We should call him. Or no, no, we should go out and celebrate. No, I, I, I'll tell him face to face. Uh, It'll be a wonderful surprise. Oh, okay. Well, I know he's been really nervous and excited, but I guess we'll wait. You're right. Telling him in person will be more fun. Yeah, he'll love that. Dad loves surprises. <laughs> All right. Well, there's only one problem, though. What? That we've been having. Um, well, there's this other group that really, really wants control of the minds. And I think, I think we're going to have some problems getting in there. There's been a bunch of local thugs that have just been trying to keep us out of there. Well, we have the legal documentation to have 60% of it, so... Yeah, but who cares? It, but if all of our workers start getting hurt and harassed, like that's not going to be very productive. True. Well, then who who maintains it? Who who enforces the rule? Well, the police around here haven't been doing so great. Most of it is local basically warlords for lack of a better word and we knew this been. coming into this space i'm sorry cut out for a second and we knew this coming into the space well that's why i bought mike and a bunch of weapons that's why i asked you about your protection i try i well i told you no i'm not worried about my protection i'm talking about I'm talking about the workers. Like we buying the space or buying the, the, the mine, like couldn't we have found another spot what? that was not so run by other people? Like that's there's other places that have what the weapons for, silly. And 
look, a lot of a lot of the mines and stuff have been depleted over the last few decades. It's a lot of the other mines are controlled by a lot of other people, and trust me, none of them are willing to sell. And like it's you see, Nixon's just like demeanor shift. Just like not really knowing where all these resources have been coming from and like where her wealth has come from. And just like, yeah, it's just like this whole sadness, like, come over her. Look. Kaz does not look phased. <laughs> look, for the past few years, you know, resources and stuff have dried up. We've had to, well, expand and get a lot of our own stuff. It's, the business has become really expensive to run. You would know this if you ever showed up to any of the board meetings. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. All you're right. right. So, it is morning. I should, I should, oh, okay, I'm going to finish in, but... During most of this, um, Cass has been taking pictures with his eye. Okay. okay. So. It's a suit. It's the most, it's the, yeah. Just, just in case it's like for later. Uh, Dur during most of this, Kaz has been sitting in the car, uh, not Kaz, but mm -hmm. Rip has been sitting in the car drinking. Oh. <laughs> it's what we've been in Columbia. The whole time. <laughs> you just been hanging beat. out at oh. this airport. <laughs> this is my beach. <laughs> <laughs> I need some me time. <laughs> With my pocket cat. <laughs> <laughs> Your pocket cat. All right. He's very rambunctious right now. I've noticed. I keep seeing him crawl <laughs> over you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we can go back to Rip since it's the next morning. Is mm. Rip going to take his info to the DA? Yeah, I uh, head over to the DA to make sure and talk to them. All right. I, I walk past the door guy because he annoys me. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Barrels through. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you go up to talk to them. <laughs> All right. So what do you got for me? Did you get my uh, email from the other day? Oh. Yesterday. Oh, yeah, I... Didn't have a chance to fully go through it, but I did uh, take a glance. It seems like some pretty uh, serious stuff, if it's true. All you need to do is verify where these messages come from, but uh, it'll take a while to hear back from the uh, cyber towers. Yeah, and I got my guy in hiding right now. In a couple of days, he's, he's laying low at the moment, but in a couple of days, I'll have him come in and write a full affidavit uh signed affidavit and you can ask him all the questions in person if you want mm. oh well that'd be perfect Boom. bring him in do we have enough here for a case uh well it's a start we'll have to do some more legwork but i i think this is a good starting point like once we get a you know maybe Send a few people around. Just do a little bit more investigating. Talk to him directly. I think we might have something. All right. Sounds sounds good. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had, I had to laugh. I'm sorry. Had, had to get something. Where'd that cat come from? <laughs> Not supposed to bring animals in here. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> you know, uh, the canines won't like that. License to carry. <laughs> Fuck cat. <it. laughs> it's uh, all right. So. Yeah, special needs cat. <laughs> oh, oh, therapy cat. Oh, I'm sad. <laughs> all right. Well, you and your cat, uh, just head out of here, and I'll let you know. What I find, as soon as you can bring that guy in, just uh, send him my way. Mm -hmm. I'll start the paperwork. Sounds good. 
Okay. And so while this is happening, since it's the next day, and uh, poor Cash just kind of sadly wasn't able to show up in the morning, you finally, Cash finally checks his uh, messages. Hey, where are you? What have mm-hmm. you been doing? I was like, you were supposed to have a story on my desk. <laughs> Last night. All right. Where are you at? <laughs> I, I I respond. New development in in case. Took a small trip to Colombia. What? No. You better not be in Colombia. If I don't have something by tonight, that is it. I know. I've been letting you slide for a while now. But I mean it this time. You have four hours. I want something. You sure you can't give me at least a day of extension? I'm no. telling you. Roll um, for... Roll empathy. Roll, roll for that. See if we'll... Get him to be a little more lenient. Hmm. Do you have persuasion school skill or anything? Uh, yeah. I do have. Okay, because I, I do have a. Yeah, I do have a pers- persuasion skill. Um, I think that's like I think that's the only skill I can really use use at, use at this point. Yeah, that's probably yeah. the most relevant. Well, let's see what you like because like because I have like small credibility, but that wouldn't really help. Roll <laughs> melee. <laughs> you can Robotic. fight him. Fight him from afar. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh hi. oh hi. Please. Okay, so that's an eighteen. Nice. He's like, I'll okay. Mm. Damn. But when I, s- I'll give you a little more time. But if you don't have something good by the time. We come back. I really do mean it. Okay? Understood? Oh, don't worry. This is going to be the scoop of the century. I can tell you that. Uh, Okay. (sighs) I'll just go have uh, Janet write something up for now. Thanks. All right, so. Damn it, Janet. (laughs) Station's over. (laughs) As that conversation's over, you guys are just kind of having a bit of a a celebratory, at least in everybody else's eyes, meal down in Colombia, sampling some of the local fare. And while that's happening, um, some guy that you don't know comes up to the table. Hey, um, so there's an issue. There's... They're kind of starting a blockade and threatening anybody who tries to get into the mines. What should we do? The, um, they have a bit more firepower than the cops. That guy has been giving them all sorts of weapons and stuff. We're at the point where we can't do anything. This is just a small town. What guy? Because this is just a random local. They're not privy to, unfortunately, all the information. <laughs> Mood or flesh? You're that cat. I just heard stuff falling. <laughs> yeah, I heard falling stuff too. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Continue. <laughs> fine. I'll go talk to them or something. Okay. People's lives are in danger, then fine. Come on, All right. Max. All right. Mm. So, you and Kaz will just say head up to the mines. We'll just say it's on the, the edge over here. We show up. Hey, so, um, yeah, this is our kind of place. We're not letting anybody through. Um, our guys haven't finished operations in there yet. 
And who are you? Who? What do you do? Uh, we work for uh, Mr. Santiago. So. Yeah. If you have a problem with it, right? you can go talk to him. That name rings a bell, right? Yes, it rings a bell. Actually, may I speak to Mr. Santiago, please? I mean, he's not right here right now, but... Well, you said yeah. if I had a problem, I could speak with him. I'd like to speak I with mean, him everybody please. knows that he lives, uh... Oh, gosh. Yeah, over... She gives you directions. I thought everybody knew that. Oh, I forgot. You're not exactly from around here. Correct. Okay. So, yes, so, if you can point me in the direction, that'd be wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Not and so I guess we go in the direction of where this so, Mr. Yeah. Santiago is. So we can say, you guys, head over that way. He's over there with himself and a few random goons. Nothing. Nothing crazy. Nothing major. No big deal, guys. No bigs. Nothing to stress about. Except we're gonna die, but that's okay. That's okay. It's fine. All right. So he shows up. Oh, hi, little lady. Uh, what can I do for you? First of all, my name is Nixon. Oh, okay. I believe you know my father, or knew of my father. And who is that? Uh, Nathaniel. Nathaniel uh. from um, Lunar. Nathaniel. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Sad thing is, he's not too uh, popular around here if you uh, catch my drift. And why is that? A lot of people don't like uh, his plans <laughs> for our, our, our lovely little home here. If you know what I mean. Well, what if I were to say those plans were to change with new management? <laughs> I mean, you guys have lied so much. Uh, kind of hard for me to believe you. <laughs> but, look. Either you guys can leave. Or I'm sure if you guys wanted to uh, maybe stay here with us. I'm sure we could uh, maybe negotiate something with your father. What if my father wasn't in the picture anymore? <laughs> well, hmm? how do you plan I'm on getting rid of him? I have my ways. Let's just leave it at that. Mm -mm -mm. I'm sorry, little lady, that's not good enough for me. Or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, uh, Miss Nixon. Thank you. I appreciate the respect. Look, you and your, uh, your friend here. I think we might have something we can do about this. Don't you, though, boys? I think, uh, maybe if we use, uh, little Miss Nixon here as leverage, I think, uh, we could convince her dad to do, well, Basically anything. It won't work. Mm, that remains to be seen. He doesn't care about me. You can try, but he won't come. Well, I guess we'll have to try then. You guys want to roll for initiative? <laughs> I was about to ask that myself. <laughs> <laughs> it had to oh, happen. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. We're rolling for initiative. I don't want just, to. Isn't that just D10? D10 <laughs> plus, plus, your reflex, plus your reflex. Yeah, it's D10 and reflex. Finally, it's not rip in the fight. Oh, wait. I know. Uh, yeah, I rolled. I rolled. Okay. Uh, oh, God, that's not good. That's a, that's a, that's a 11. Uh, mine's a 6, so... Okay. Well. Because, yeah, I don't really have anything I could really do here. <laughs> no, I could have pop some pills but she hasn't yeah. been doing that lately so oop oh, there we go we're gonna get we're gonna die now yep mm. it's gonna be great oh <laughs> don't worry I'll, I'll make sure they come to justice 
<laughs> the... Oh, what? All you right. get two? You get to roll two? Well, there's two. Two of oh, them. Yes, yeah, two okay. little minions. That's... Oh, okay. So I just. I thought, I thought the two. I thought the, the, the no. two D10 was like. Yeah, no, I, got, I, just, I, got... I was trying to simplify. <laughs> okay. Just trying to simplify things. Okay. I'm nervous now. Like, literally, my stomach just went into knots. I care about Nixon uh. more than I thought I did. <laughs> oh, I care about him so much. Kaz, were you able to? Yeah, mine's an 11. I see. Okay. So it's right. going to be me. How far, how far, how far, how far away are we? You guys are. Oh, I should put your tokens on there. You guys are pretty close together within like. Five feet of these people because you were talking. Oh, so we're, so we're in. You're in yeah, close yeah, yeah, range. Yeah, 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 we're in. Yeah. We're, we're in melee because yes, they use meters. Yes. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm in front, obviously. Yeah, you guys About are. Meter, are so. melee range. Oh, and we will make a cocktail. Don't you worry. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> How about you go make yourself? <laughs> Just kidding. I'm drinking right now. Don't worry. Don't worry, yeah. I already have I got I drank the champagne. Point. Don't drink oh. in DM, kids. Yeah. All right, but... Depends on what kind of campaign It's called it a is. DMI. Oh! oh! Boo. Boo. Man. Blah, 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 blah. Drink more in DM. <laughs> I mean, we can pause to take a... a drink and pee break. Sure. And you guys what, can... <laughs> Cry yeah, about your fight. <laughs> yeah, prepare yourself mentally. Mentally prepare yourself. Strategize. To, to, to die. Yep. We'll get yep. we'll get one more celebratory champagne, stretch our legs, and we'll be back in just a few minutes. But yep, I'll be right back. Let's hear it. Oh, that's true. It's not your turn. I know, now I'm all like now I'm all like, I want to know. Okay, so since Nixon is the closest, one of the girl or the guy closest to him takes out a knife and heads straight towards her. Let's see what we get. Uh, it's a D6. Oh, that's right. Oh my God, did I? Yeah, that was my understanding of it. I could be wrong. I know. Yeah. Yeah, I think with melee, it's attack and then you... Roll. Yeah. Mm-hmm. D10. This is seven total. Okay, so he does get a scratch on you, sadly. Is it able to, let's see. Oh, that's the wrong table. That would hit. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot this thing. I will turn. Ooh. Good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. It does, but since she hasn't really used it, since we haven't really been getting into fights, it's like at full status for now. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Your armor should have a number. Oh, no. There was an audio thing. Okay. Oh. There we go. So one of mine it has a 18. So I would minus 18, but then that 18 would also go down one. Right. So I mean, minus 14. So. So it would, so it would be minus 14, which means you probably don't take any, any damage then. Yeah, I'm just waiting to hear what the damage is. Mm hmm. And then I'll subtract it. And then you to then you yeah, subtract that. But then it also, go down, it also goes down one. So it becomes weaker and weaker. Right. And my BTM is negative two as well. So. Yeah, my my my, B, my my BTM is also a negative two. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. Again, we're not combat classes. I know. Don't worry. That I didn't make them too tough. I'll I'll go. I'll try as best I can oh. to go go easy on ya. I mean, yeah, you, don't have, you know, it's fine. Uh, do 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 what you want. Yeah, it's, eh. it's fine. I mean, now I'm attached to these characters too. I feel invested. <laughs> it's the end. It's the end of it's the end of the campaign, mm -hmm. regardless. So it's fine. <laughs> But yeah, so how much damage? So damage, that'd be. Well, what's your armor class? That's what I thought we were trying it's, to. It's, it's fourteen. Fourteen for is that. Your armor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. Is a blah blah blah. So I roll another. Yay, combat. D six. I know combat. Woo. Oh, that wasn't what I was trying to press. <laughs> DF. Uh, no. Is that button even for? <laughs> oh, okay. So it's only 10 damage. You actually are pretty... So bad. 10 damage total? Yeah. Is what I... Okay, so I don't take any actual damage then. Yeah, I was like, ooh. So my armor goes down by yeah. how much? So I think it's Should... now... Your guys' turn. It should it should go down by one. Just one? Okay. Oh, I just need to I think, Oh no no no, sorry. It goes down by how much. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, um, okay. Yeah, not one. I was saying something else. Okay. I that's think it's fine. so yeah. That's how much fine. damage it takes. Mm -hmm. And then I wanna take. edit you. Let me edit you. <laughs> <laughs> so I think now it is it is. All right. Kaz's turn. I'm just gonna keep track of this manually. Fuck it. That's what I've been doing the whole game, to be honest. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, Kaz is gonna pull out his gun and try. And he pulled out his gun. Oh! Mm -hmm. Da 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 da. No. <laughs> and just go right and aim for, and aim for the head. I'm trying to get the one that's attack Nixon. Okay. So I think okay. So we have to remind me how I'm supposed to do this again. Oh, that's okay. Well. So <laughs> depending on the weapon you have, mm -hmm. you're gonna roll. I have a pistol, later. and I have and I can roll, and I have two shots I can do. Okay. Eight shots in a mag, so I have to reload after, but I can do two within the turn. So I got to fire. I think it's your d10 to mm -hmm. hit plus your reflex plus if you have any yeah, skills okay. involved so in that's seven yeah. plus six which is 12 no 11 wait seven plus six is 13 no 13 <laughs> okay what is third math? try so that's 13 to hit uh i don't yeah i don't have anything else I can really Okay. So that's that's the first shot. So does that hit? That hits. So okay. now he has to roll like two d sixes. Roll, or... roll a d ten to see where you hit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, because yeah. of, of one of armor. So the headshot. <laughs> yeah. Dang. Oh, one, one, one stab shot. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> where it's double damage. So then you roll the weapons damage, which I think is it, versus a, a d six. Two... Oh, yeah. D six. Yeah, because he has a lower power weapon. Okay. Oh, mm. oh, that's two. Is, that's two checks in the head, two? though. Yeah. Did that guy's head explode yet? Oh my god! <laughs> what did you do? Yeah, he's he's out for the count because that's a headshot. Yeah, ouch. Ouch. Look at that. 
<laughs> I, I said I aimed for the head. I didn't think it would actually work, but yeah, it, it worked. Here's a good shot. Ooh. All right, now it's Nixon's turn. Oh wait, okay. I could I I could also shoot again. That's true. You want, you want to shoot again? That, is that the one? Yeah, I'm gonna aim aim for the other guy. Want to try your luck? Is okay. that? Because that worked, and we'll try my luck again. Let's see what Let's happens. See if we can try it again. Make make magic happen. Okay. Mm. Oh no. What? That's a seven for for it to, to hit. No. That does not seven hit. Seven does not hit. Okay. You, you had one good one. Yeah. I'll just shoot. So I just totally just miss. Yeah. Miss my shot. Yeah, you miss that. That got. I didn't see Ooh. the seven rolled. I saw the one, the D10. The one, one, one plus the reflex. Yeah, one plus reflex. Oh, so okay. Seven. Mm -hmm. All right. So now it's Nixon's turn. So Nixon pulls out her switchblade and holds it to her own throat. Oh. Oh. And says, What? <laughs> if you come any closer and if you attack us, then your plan will be ruined. Oh, okay, miss, miss. Calm down. There's no need to do anything hasty. Look. Promise me that we'll be safe. Okay, okay. We'll be safe for now. Boys, put them down. <laughs> boy. There's only I guess, one I, I guess boy. Okay. Well, I mean, like, just... a one wouldn't, wouldn't kill him. It's probably <laughs> just, like, concussion at very least. Still a bullet. It's, a, yeah, you know, it's, it's like a still bullet. a bullet. Like I'm... It it was like the roll was basically to see how much of his head got blown off. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. He got his ear. He took yeah, off his ear. Pretty much. If if it if it was six though, yeah, he would be dead. Or, or like at least like. Yeah. He's not, least... No, not even like We're a four. Just... He's out for the count. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyway. He so... he is severely wounded. He's not dead. With like very much. <laughs> severely wounded. All right. So. Yep, they. Cosmo still hasn't killed anyone. They said the weapon's down. Okay, okay. Like, like I said, there's no need to get hasty. And I'm telling you, this is my, this is, I'm being truthful. Okay. Now, look. Here's the deal. I'm, I'm still gonna need you to come with me, cause, I, I'm sure you understand. I still can't trust you. That's fine. I will come with you. But you have to understand. I don't like what my father's doing either. Whatever Believe you me. say. Listen, we're out here trying to expose what's going on. Because mm. from what I heard is that you just signed a deal to bulldoze those mines down. You know, my family used to own those until, uh, some people decided they were more important. But Do you still legally own those? Mm -hmm. I don't know why you cut out a little bit. I'm sorry. Oh. I said, Do you still legally own those? Well, not anymore. But Who does? that's all in the past. Well, the government and Mr. Moon. Hmm. I guess... I guess just our local stuff uh, wasn't good enough, and they decided to sell to the seize our property, sell to the highest bidder. Got people in this town a little riled up. I so, understand that. How exactly do you plan to get your dad out of the picture? The best way. Expose him. Exposing him. him. <laughs> you think people will care? Thanks. Oh. I'll make people care. Who is are you words? again? I at least I'm... know who she is. is this you can Kaz? call me a vigilante. All right, Mr. Vigilante. Well, unfortunately, being Batman doesn't always work here. There's a little... Sometimes you gotta get your hands dirty. We... Then he just, just do can't that? allow this to just continue. I, I hope you understand. 
Oh, I do. Look. <clears throat> I'm trying to think of where oh, I want this to go, to be honest. Just dump it in. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Look, I'll make you... I gotta tell you something. We actually already have enough to expose Nathan. So, why don't we can why don't we go and confront him on your behalf, obviously? Hmm. I just oh, want to make I... sure the people are safe here. There are the mines. That's my main concern. I just well... heard that there was a lot of ruckus going down at the mines. That people are unsafe. Conditions are not well. well I just want to make sure they're safe. I... That's my main concern. I appreciate that. Look, here's the thing. We we may not always be, you know, above the law, we'll say, but I care about the folks that live here. You know, I don't want necessarily anything to happen to them. All That's right, good. so I guess in that case, do we want to go confront Nathan? Santiago mm. seems pretty much on your on your side. Yeah. Oh well, see the thing is, we'll still we are still in Colombia. I want to get not here. <laughs> <laughs> I think we yeah. We'll we'll flash forward to not being in Colombia. We could not be in Nathan. Colombia now. Yeah, I, I was gonna say. I think that. Like, we'll, I was gonna we'll say that, that plane ride. Yeah, I just gave basically. I just gave them my word. That we will handle it internally, so you guys don't have to muddy your own hands. Okay, well, mm -hmm. I hope you understand. If you don't handle this, we will handle it, and I'm I'm not sure you're gonna like the way we handle it. So, see to it that you do. Either way, our common goal is achieved. Hmm. All right. Okay, so you guys are back in your hometown. You're here. Uh, can I get this stupid thing off, Nixon? What, the suit? Yeah. Sure. If you don't like it. No, oh, no. It's okay. just... Hmm. It doesn't really suit me, you know? Oh. Sure. So... I think you look great in it, but sure. Sorry, Aww. go ahead. Look <laughs> Yeah, you probably tell that to everyone, huh? Yeah. No. Anyway, I should probably get get back back home now and and <laughs> type something before my boss gets gets angry. Sure. I mm, I don't think I have I have enough for for the for the major story, but I think I can at least confront at least I I, I can tell something about our trip to Columbia. Okay. okay. If you think it's enough enough for something it's definitely interesting roll intelligence to see how good your story goes oh boy. just straight intelligence yeah would it be intel okay because i'm wondering if, if, I, if i can put a skill towards that so have have skill. Skill. because i have like photo and film skill i have like a streetwise skill a social skill of credibility, obviously. Mm -hmm. Well, streetwise skill won't help you with that. No, streetwise, it, well, yeah. But I do, I do have a credibility. Credibility would help, although that's mm -hmm. under empathy, I believe. Not intelligence. Yeah, you know what? Roll empathy, because you know what? Writing is about the heart. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, this. Yeah, this is this is kind of just reporting on like this is what I found. It's not like I'm doing my own like. This is what I think, and here's mm -hmm. yeah. This is more okay. just. It's not an opinion piece. Yeah, this isn't really an opinion piece. If it was, then yeah, I'd probably say intelligence. Okay, then we will roll empathy. Nice. Wait, wait. I think I, I think I rolled the wrong dice. That was a D twelve. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh dang. Oh! Oh! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm was... so good at this. That's a, a that's a that's a nat. Plus an eight, plus uh, a, a three. It's a sensation. Oh. It, it flies off the shelves. I think you just want a Pulitzer Prize. Yes. <laughs> so basically, so, so you're going I'll, to the I'll White House. What, 
what what I what I write specifically is just about that they're not mentioning any names, but just saying that in Colombia there seems like just reporting that like oh there seems to be some dispute going going on here but between a between a, a, a an, an elite corporation and the locals that's kind of it just that there's mm -hmm. something here so it doesn't seem like it's attached to like a huge story and not like the actual thing but just but that's there okay. and i'm kind of phrasing it but the phrasing is a little bit more favorable towards the locals and not necessarily the big corporation that's fair so so you don't expose the big corporation and no the, uh, i don't expose who it actually is mm, yeah okay. yeah because mm -hmm. it probably wouldn't have gotten published <laughs> Weird, yeah, but yeah, you know what? Mm -hmm. Sensation, it obviously passes through the editor. Hey, uh, I'll admit, Kaz, I was uh, kind of worried about where you're going with this, but hey, that was some, some pretty good stuff. Uh, keep it up. <laughs> oh, I, I, I definitely will. Now, about that office. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, I was going to move in there, but... uh. You know what? I promised you. You're right. <laughs> I'll give you that office. Yeah, I hope that I've earned at least a little bit more uh, respect in this organization. Thanks for believing in me. Mm. I still need that bar story, though. <laughs> <laughs> what? I thought Janet finished it. Well, Janet uh, decided to do her own thing. <sighs> You know I can't rely on her. But please, for me. Then we'll get you moved okay. into that office. Sure, sure, sure. Sure thing. <laughs> All right. That damn Janet. So, Rip, I'm assuming Kaz also gives some of the stuff he found to Rip or the DA. Yeah, I would, um, I, I, I'd, I'd basically say, uh, I would also show um, him some, some screenshots and or some some photos and some video that I've, I've taken of of the area um, that I didn't post and a convers and our conversation about uh, like who like, like who it is and basically just tell Rip all that stuff. Okay. So. Yeah, and Rip, uh, he takes that information and also messages Mike to meet him at the uh, police station, and then. We go in to try to uh, to get his official story, and I also, while that's happening, try to I not try, but I give the extra information to the DA. Okay. To try to build this case. So, obviously, the legal system can take some time, but it seems like you got a pretty substantial case built. Mike is able to go into witness protection, so. Mm pretty safe there didn't have to punch anyone yeah <laughs> they tried to punch you though and nixon tried yeah i go see so, my dad all right let's go talk to your dad what and oh okay he... well since since sen it's essentially gonna con con confront um the cat is just gonna kind of uh email or text uh, Nixon, saying, uh, "If anything, if anything happens, let me know the details." As always. Okay. <clears throat> Not and showing I... any support, just just want the details for your story. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> <laughs> Who's using who is the question? Mm. No. Um. So I print off everything okay stacks upon stacks upon stacks paper for dramatic effect i go in with a briefcase and Ooh. i knock on the door you see him there he's exasperated he sees the uh the article kaz wrote and he he knows exactly what it's about of course <sighs> what what now Daddy? Yes. Yes. Do you have time for a little me? Um, uh, 
Yeah, I have a meeting in an hour, but sure, sure. What? What is it? What is it? I put the briefcase on the table, and I unlatch it, and I open it up, and I take the papers out. I put them on the table. What is... What's all this? But... What? This is all the evidence against you. <sighs> so I know you're... exactly what's going on. I know, so thanks for bringing this to me. Yeah, we'll we'll get rid of this right now. Oh no, there's there's many, many copies. Well a lot of digital copies. Where are these copies? Are you going to get them? Or do you need me to send somebody to go get them? Daddy. You can do that too. It's over. Sweetheart. Sweetheart, don't don't worry. It'll be okay. Oh Daddy, I'm not the one who's worried. It what? should be you who's worried. What? I'm not on your team. You know I can you've... cut you off at any time, right? Are you are you sure you Daddy, want to do this? Stop being ridiculous. Very... <laughs> Daddy, you've cut me off emotionally for a very long time. I don't care about the money anymore. I mean, who's going to clothe you, feed you? It's not like you've ever had a real job before. You basically just got to flit around the office doing whatever you wanted. I'll find my way. I have skills. You oh. might not know those skills, but I have them. Okay, sure. Get out. Clean your desk out. It's already been done. I haven't worked in this office for months. I know. Do you? <laughs> Do you, Daddy? Nathan? Look, you're really going to do you this know. to your own I was... dad? <laughs> yes, the same way you've been doing it to your own daughter. I just wanted to give you a heads up so you have any way of forgiving or maybe stopping this to do so. Mm. If you have any way of pulling out, of changing your ways of fixing this than doing so. Otherwise, you're ruined. What is there to fix? I did what I had to do to keep everything afloat. Your life, your mother's life, everything. I did what I had to just keep it afloat. And now you're just throwing it back into my face. My life is no more important than anyone else's. I know what you did. I know that you sold weapons. I know that you have been keeping other people's lives worse off to make mine better. And then you treat me like garbage. You treated mom like garbage. You haven't done anything for me personally for years. You just send Aunt Sybil to deal with my issues. So, I mean... I, I'm giving you the opportunity to try to fix it. If you don't do anything with it, if you just want to live the, the way you live, then fine. I'm just giving you the opportunity I, to redeem yourself. I think we're done here. Maybe when you're older, you'll understand why I did what Daddy, I did. Daddy, I'm 24. <sighs> and you've had an easy life. I'm a grown life. woman. Fine. And I, oh, I pack up. Sorry. <laughs> no, is there anything else? No, I just pack up and leave. Okay. And scene. Thank you guys. Ah. Uh. I feel like unless there's any any last minute words you want to get out, I think that's as good a place well. to an age it. Emotionally at least. <laughs> to end. <laughs> Well, yeah, the really, cat's finally done. You, <laughs> you really pulled it out there. Thank you guys, though. Really, that was that was an experience. I, I don't know what else to say. That was something I ended up being really attached to all of your characters. Yeah, yeah it was fun. It was fun. Thank you. 
Thank you for yeah. doing this with me. I know lots of lessons and stuff were learned. Mm -hmm. But it was, it was good. We didn't die. We didn't die. Yeah, we didn't. Yeah, we didn't. We, yeah, didn't, we, didn't, we die. didn't die once. And yeah. there was a lot of instances where we probably should have. I mean, I honestly, I'm, like, got injured. I was surprised a lot of the fights that you kind of skirted around, but I figured, hey, you know what? I'll let you do your thing. True. True. Yeah, Rip was tired of getting into all those fights. He wanted, yeah. he wanted to try to I got avoid. that. I got that vibe. Rip was done. But just so everybody knows, <laughs> um, I know we had some new people in here tonight. If you're interested in what we were doing, the older episodes are up on YouTube. It's only a four session campaign in total so nothing too long nothing too crazy no. um it's true if our players want to sound off in chat you should all go follow them they all have their own twitch channels and such and of course they all do fantastic work so if you like them here you will probably like them there yeah we're right yeah yeah <laughs> they're all right they're they're just all right i'm kind of cool i guess i think Sometimes. Their own way. <laughs> My mom thinks I'm cool. Oh, I was just about to say that. Nixon thinks I'm <laughs> cool, so that's what, that's what matters. <laughs> but no, that was great. You all were fantastic. That was one of the... This was one of the easiest groups that I have worked with, and I mean that in the best way possible. Mm. Um, to end that's tonight, we're going to go say hi to a friend who is playing one of my favorite games, Persona 5. Nice. Ooh, I nice. know. Crimes. It's so good. Where did the raid go? Okay. But let's head over there now, and I will see you folks tomorrow. Bye. Ooh, what you playing tomorrow?